Are you watching news with me, Meher Sheikh? Let's begin with the top headlines. An FIR has been registered against BJP MLA Kuldeep Singh Sanger, his brother Manoj Singh Sanger, and eight others in connection with Unnao rape case survivor's accident in Raibareli. The Unnao gang rape survivor is critical, and two of her aunts died after their vehicle met with an accident in Raibareli on Sunday. The victim's mother calls the accident a conspiracy to erase her family. K.R. Ramesh Kumar resigns as Speaker Yadurappa wins trust vote. Addressing the House, former CM H.D. Kumaraswamy said that he only needs to answer his concerns and not B.S. Yadurappa's questions. Congress Sidharamaya said B.S. Yadurappa does not have the people's mandate and won't be able to provide a stable government. Sensing big developments in Jammu and Kashmir in view of BJP's assertion on Article 370 and Article 35A, PDP Chief Mehbooba Mufti has asked National Conference Supremo Farooq Abdullah to convene an all-party meet. Earlier, the BJP had called a meeting of its Jammu and Kashmir core group to Delhi today. The agenda for this meeting was not detailed, but it may be recalled that last week the centre had approved the movement of additional troops to the state. BJP leader Subramanian Swami on Monday released a letter accusing India Bulls housing finance of embezzling over rupees 1 lakh crore. In the letter addressed to PM Narendra Modi, Swami has said the company and its related firms have created more than 100 shell companies to take loans from National Housing Bank and siphon it off to real estate firms in Gurugram, Bangalore, Delhi and Mumbai in the range of rupees 30 crore to 1,000 crore. Swami accused the company of taking those loans and then accepting the amount as form of investment, effectively laundering the money. Punjab CM Captain Amrinder Singh said that Congress General Secretary Piyanka Gandhi Wadra would be an ideal candidate for the Congress President post. He said that India is a young nation and would respond to a young leader. He regretted Rahul Gandhi's withdrawal from the president post but said that his sister should take over. PM Modi released the All India Tiger Estimation Report 2018 on Monday and said that India achieved the target of doubling the tiger population four years early. India now has 2,967 tigers. In other news, PM Modi also said and revealed that he will feature on the discovery show Man vs. Wild on August 12 at 9 p.m. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more updates.